All right, this is gonna be a video for uh, Center Point Sumner. But I just wanna show the traffic. This has been like this for a while now. Uh, just a bunch of semis trying to get in down at that light and it's just crawling out of here. It was backed up all the way back a minute ago. Um, so it just seems to be going back and forth. So we'll just kind of keep that in mind uh, when we're going to get mixed. Seems like the left lane flows pretty good, but just in case. So there is a northern gate up there at the next entrance. 3418 takes you to this building. You just gotta hop across the street. So this is the southernmost gate. There is a code and it's 1803 for the lockbox. So Okay, so now I'm inside here. So, it's a big empty lot, um, which is nice. So right inside the lot, here's the aerial real quick. So area one is what we're gonna hit and then we're gonna go around counterclockwise. So area one is right here somewhere, oh, right at that depression. So we just gotta, a low point but we got this fixed concrete clean out um, and they don't make uh, insert risers for that so I don't know how we're gonna go about that but we might just have to have a little slight drop down right at that point and then everything else be high that way it doesn't hold a bunch of water like it is right now where you can see as the dirt's settling so that's patch number one now I'm gonna start my rounds around this uh, nothing above we're real close to uh, Miles Sumner so this is a excellent location plenty of workspace okay so here's the start of two starts across here then comes down And then I thought it opened up right here. Yeah, I think right at the end of this. Oh, here it is, okay. It looks like it ends right here, but it doesn't. It cuts out and goes out to the gravel right there. Goes up through there and then it breaks out to this seam and comes out to just at the drain. I believe comes straight down and then ties into here so off the drain off this patch and I'll uh, grab a can of paint and remark these out once I walk through them so now we got a little ways before we get back to three and four which are the biggest by far Three is somewhere in the 250 ton range at six inches, and four is somewhere in the 320 ton range at six inches. So I believe it's back here. In this kind of messed up area. Okay, so there's this new asphalt that ends and everything comes off at this point. So, area three is corner down around these fire hydrant boxes, back out, up, and over. So three, corner point, right past that bush, chokes down, and then there's a small aisle in between the two. So that has this catch basin, a lot of grass and nastiness, but we'll be ripping all that out. And it cuts around this utility, back over, back up, in line with that edge where we just were, to this point here. And in this corner, all the way up right there then it cuts in and four ends up going all the way out to this building here but it chokes down so 
just to get an idea of it. Do this again. This is three. This is what we're looking at. But we're standing this way right now. So, boom, cuts in. There's this trench that connects three and four. Three continues up to the new pave, over to the corner, back over around that uh, fire hydrant with one catch basin in the middle. Decent fall, good to go. Then this trench here comes up, ties into four. Now four is massive. So from this tie-in point up to the new pave and then over. Um, and we go out to just before that concrete thing, right there's the mark. And then this side, you can barely see it, but dashed up all the way to the building. Across from the building to the corner to that ecology block where it's yellow, the ecology block down. And I believe it goes straight out to here, up around this catch basin, back in, and then straight back out to this existing pave. So that's four. Massive couple of little depressions in it but we should uh we should have no problem taking those out as long as we have time to grade so depression here depression here at this seam up there at that seam everything's going to this catch basin we're paving around it so uh there is a little bit of concrete in here we're gonna need to take out right here um, just stating that for dumping and there is no dumps in sumner now we can fit a truck through here height's not an issue everything's really tall here uh, we can fit a truck through here, so now we're behind the building, there's area 5, which is like a goofy, it like, comes up, cuts across at an angle, this one comes in at an angle, down to the dumpster, and then there's one little one, little, little for this job, but still a good paver pass, back here, but I don't see any problems getting our pavers, our trucks, everything back here, so this one cuts across here. And I think it's kind of full width, actually. So I think it's all of this. We need to make sure we get these axles out and some stuff. And then it looks like it just slopes off into this uh, neighboring planter where the water goes. We'll have to confirm that. There's your cut line off the door. So we just need to make sure we know where the water is supposed to go on this because there's no drains back here at all. So it appears to me that it kind of slopes to the middle a little bit and then comes down. It was puddling here before it spills over into the neighboring property. So we'll make sure and confirm that. I'm gonna pause it back out at number four. But yeah, you can see we can, uh, it looks tight on the aerial, but it's just a really giant place. All right, picking back up. That's the corner, just came out of that. Now we're walking down patch number four. Uh, like this so we just came from that corner area five we're walking down there's a little notch out on area four which is this for the catch basin we already talked about and then back up to the patch nothing out here at all our very last patch is up by those delineators way up there so i'm going to pause it and i'll pick it up up there okay getting up here to the front this is the northernmost entrance and here's our last patch real easy Straddling the CB down to the end of the island. So that is it for this job. We just did area seven. So we can get trucks and everything back to uh, five and six. Three and four are huge. And uh, yeah, that's it.